Hi guys, so today I'm sitting down to do an unboxing and try on of the Material Box subscription service. yet heard of the material box subscription service what it is is it is similar to a lot of other subscription services out there you've heard of where you work with a stylist and you're able to kind of curate and choose different items you would like they send you a preview of what is going to be sent to you you can decide if you like it or you don't or you want them to replace it with something else and then the order is shipped to you the difference with this box is these are all designer items some of them never been used tags still on some of them are pre-loved items that have been sent in and have been checked over with a fine tooth comb before they are actual items that will be sent out so this is what the box looks like when it comes you do get five items they give you a lot more items than the five items to choose from when you get your first preview and you choose five from there so let's jump right into the items that i got so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the pair of jeans that they sent me. Now, I did have two pairs of jeans in my preview. However, I only decided to go with one pair because it was the only pair that stood out as something different than what I already own. This is by a brand, 3 by one As I mentioned, some of the items are brand new, never been worn. You can tell this one still has the tags on it, both at the waist with their tag and then also the tag that was originally placed on it in the back. They are originally a $265 pair of jeans that you can purchase through them for $95. Now, when I first put them on, they felt very tight, a little bit of a muffin top going on there. However, they did kind of, not stretch out, but they did get more comfortable. I love the look of the released hem with the two different tones to it. They are a super, super cute jean that I really thought would be fun. The only problem I tend to really have with this is A, they are a little bit tight on me, and B, the fact that where the released hem ends is a little bit too long for me. If it was just a little bit shorter by about two inches, it would be absolutely perfect. The next item was one of the items that I clicked as surprise me and I gave them some information of some items that I was looking for. I told them that I was looking for more blouses. I have a lot of jeans, I have a lot of shorts, I have a lot of pants that I really wanted just some different tops, something different to add into my wardrobe that could really elevate it to another level. This blouse is by Derek Lom. It is in a size 10 and it is $90 through them. I don't know what the original retail price would be on this item because it didn't show up, but it just didn't really work on me. It kind of was a little bit too tight through the shoulders, but it was a little bit too big in through the waist. I liked the print, but I didn't like how that weird little block in the front kind of goes over to the side. It just seemed a little bit off for me. I also didn't like that the underside of the ruffles on the sleeves were not a material. It just looked a little bit off because it was like the back end of a material, not a finished material. So for me, if I am going to purchase a blouse for $90, I want it to be something that I really love and have a good feeling when I put it on. And that doesn't happen with this. So unfortunately, this one is going back. The next top is a Chloe blouse that when I saw it on the website, I was like, oh, that is so cute. That is totally me. It is $95. It does not state on the shirt or on my paperwork what size that is. But when I put it on, the lace detailing that I wanted to love is kind of something that I put it on with a black bra, it didn't look right. Then I tried it on here with the nude bra and it kind of just, I don't know, it showed too much. It just looked awkward on me. It definitely did not work for my body type. If I was going to wear it, I would have to wear it with a tank top underneath of it. It kind of defeats the purpose. So for $95, I just didn't love it as much as I really, really wanted to love this. The next item is a blouse from ALC. It is in a size 10 and it is $66. I had said that I was looking for a good, possibly linen, white blouse that I could wear through the summer with a pair of jeans. Um, it didn't have to be linen, just something lightweight, something that was a white blouse that I could wear through summer. What I had envisioned was a true white blouse. This is what came in. Now, where this is cute, it is a cute style, 
It just does not work on me. It had where it was pulling in the front from the buttons from my chest and then in the back, I felt like if I didn't have on the right pair of jeans, it definitely is gonna give me a muffin top, it'd be super noticeable. I just didn't like the overall feel of this when I had it on. It just unfortunately was not for me style-wise. The last item is an item that was in my cart and I said I definitely wanted to see it. It is from Paige and it is $57. It is in a size large. It is perfect. This is the one item that I had seen in my preview. I knew I wanted to try it on and I'm so excited that when I got it, I fell in love with it. I absolutely love a light blue and white type of stripe or a seersucker print in the summertime. I absolutely love that. I love the fact that this has a ruffle. It is slightly off shoulder, but it's not completely off of your shoulders. It just shows the right amount of skin. It has a nice amount of, you know, just that buttoned up kind of look and a nice amount of kind of that showing enough skin. I also absolutely love the button detail down on the sleeve of this. It is so pretty. The material is nice and lightweight, but not too see-through. It is going to be an amazing staple for me for this summer. Now, if I had purchased all five of the items, it would have been $403 would be the total. But when you purchase all five items, you then get a 20% discount. So my total would have been $322.40 if I kept all five items. I am only keeping one item, which is the $57 page blouse that I fell in love with. The rest of the items just are not for me. They didn't work out for one reason or another. Once you have tried everything on and made the decisions as to what you want to keep and what you don't, you go onto the website, you simply go through and click on what items you want to keep and which ones you don't. It will give you your total and you check out from there. It also then asks for feedback on the items and what you liked or didn't like, which will help them with your next box coming up. You can move those dates to whatever you want it to be. I have backed mine off until after summer because when I'm away in the summer, I just don't have time to try on boxes and do things like this, but you never know. Sometimes I change my mind on that too. So after you've checked out, you simply take the items that you're not gonna keep. They supply you with a bag. It already has a shipping label on it. You put all of the items in, seal it up, and take it away for shipping. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have tried this subscription service, I'd love to hear from you down below. I think it is a really, really neat option and it's really fun to get yourself some designer pieces for way less and to be able to try them on in the comfort of your own home. As always, if you have any questions on anything I talked about here, please put a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Everything I am wearing will be listed down in the description box. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day. Bye.